Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. So in this video, I'm actually gonna be using Allie Edwards Breathe Kit. So I haven't even gone through the supplies yet. I thought that I would do that with you guys. So I'm excited to kind of see what is in this kit and what the cards look like because I didn't even look at it online at all. So what I ended up doing is I pulled over just a whole bunch of Project Life spreads that I have not finished. You can see that some have some of the photos in there, some have um, a lot of photos and ephemera in there, and I'm just trying to decide which one I thought would be or go really well with the Breathe Kit. Honestly, I think I could choose any of them, but I did go ahead um, and decide that I wanted to work on this week seven um, from this year. And so that's what I'm gonna do. You can see that I've got my photos in place and this week, and I just think I probably did this random, but this week I ended up having a white border around the photos. And then I've got some three by four photos that don't have the border. So I tend to do that a lot. You'll notice if I don't have borders on my four by six photos, I will have borders on my three by four and then I kind of reverse it. I like, you know, I like um, just mixing it up and have having a variety. All right, you guys, so I'm first just gonna start off by walking through this kit. So I had actually not previously seen this kit online or even how Allie used it. So it was kind of fun for me to open it up and see all the supplies and all the embellishments that were included. I really liked those two by two squares. I think that there is a lot that you can do with them. I don't end up using them on this spread, but I was thinking like a scrapbooking layout where you've got those squares and then some two by two photos, or you could even use one of the six by eight page protectors that have the two by two squares and do a layout that way. So there's a lot of different options with those. So you'll probably see those some other time from me. One of the things I really love to do when I'm, you know, when I'm first looking through a kit is just trying to decide, especially when I'm looking through the cards, what stories that I want to tell how many spots open do I have for journaling cards or let's say maybe some of those design designer cards or quote cards. So I'm just trying to figure out uh, what I have in place. You can see that I already have one card that says it's over off to the left that says February details that came in the February's stories by the month kit that I wanted to use. And this is the end of February, so I thought that this would be a great place to put it. One of the things that I do um, when I'm going through kits, especially when I'm behind and I've got like weeks that I haven't finished, is I can just go through and I can add those cards where I want to use them so that when it comes up, then um, I have them available for me. So, you know, if, if you guys set up your project life already in place, then that's something you guys can do as well. If not, just make a note to yourself to go back and look at the cards um, from another time, from another kit, so you can add those into your project life. Because when you get so many cards, it's hard to keep them organized and it's hard to remember, oh yeah, I wanted to tell that. So one of the things that happens is as I'm going through a week or as I'm living through a week, sometimes I'll be like, oh, you know what? I remember this card, this would be a really great card for this week and I will just slip it in the pocket. So that's another thing that I do as well. So you can see I was talking about those plastic words and I definitely want to use them. I was just trying to debate between what photos I wanted to put them on and how it kind of made sense, the inhale and exhale, and how that really made uh, sense with this spread. I pulled out that yes chipboard and I did put it in between my daughters. Like I had mentioned, I I don't actually, I don't think I mentioned it because um, I cut all of that out when I cut out the walkthrough of this kit, me talking through it. But I, that chipboard says yes, and I really liked that it was intersecting both of those photos. So uh, you'll see that I'm trying to bait whether or not I wanna use one of those hearts or one of the chipboards, and I definitely do the circle. So I just love the idea of having something kind of break up those photos. Uh, I do that a lot when I have two three by four photos next to one another um, in those four by six pockets. I love hearts. I love adding hearts. I thought these um, chip or not chipboard. These are corkboard hearts. I thought these were great. So I was 
trying to scatter them around and attempting to put three on there. Right now I only have two, but in the end I do add a third. Also looking for ways that I can add more um, chipboard just to add some more interest. I know there's a lot of color and there's actually a lot going on. You've got, I've got some drawing from my daughter. There's a lot of color and a lot of different photos, but I love the idea of having some dimension and just some added interest that the embellishments give you. So that's one of the things that I love about embellishing a layout, which is kind of interesting because you do know if you've seen any of my stuff that I am pretty simple. I don't, you know, I don't go crazy with um, adding stuff to my photos, but I just like to add just enough for it not to feel too plain, but it not to feel too busy. So I think that that's kind of what I'm going for. And I think that's one of the reasons why I don't always write on my photos, even though when I see writing on photos, I really like it. But then I feel like when I try it, I then want to reprint the photo. So I hardly ever do that. But I would love to get a little bit, I would love to get a little bit better at that because then you can definitely get more of the story told instead of feeling like you just have to type it out. Because for me, typing it out is just one extra step that I don't always love taking. So sometimes, you know, I try to avoid that at all cost. So you can see that I am just kind of moving things around and trying to figure out exactly what I want and exactly where I want it to go and I'm changing my mind and then I'm going back to it. It I do everything based on feel. I do everything based on balance also because I, I want there to be a balance with the photos. I want there to be a balance with the embellishments that I have. I think I was trying to include, you can see that I've got three circle chipboards. I think I was trying to include one more circle and I end up adding one more heart instead of one more circle, which was totally fine with me. I don't feel, I mean, I know that there is a rule of thirds, but I, I don't feel like if I don't have three circles then it's not gonna be a good layout because I do have other chipboard. So I just go by feel and what works and what I think looks good. And then I don't really worry about any of the rules or if I can or if I can't, you know, those sorts of things. All right. So I was debating about what journaling I wanted to do because this is week eight. It is, you know, several weeks ago and I can't really remember everything that was going on. So I had to go and check my notes. The story that I was telling here was all about how we were planning a trip to Thailand and then it got changed. And after I wrote that story, I realized, I think I've told that story like in a previous week. Anyway, it's totally fine. It was really just about how we were really excited about planning this trip to Thailand and then it got changed because we didn't really have enough time for Thailand and the flights ended up being too expensive. So the reason why it works with the so exciting is because um, we are going to Mexico instead. So we're still super excited to be able to go to Mexico. We still need to get passports, which is what those photos are of my girls. Uh, but we'll have to do the Thailand trip another time, which we definitely will because uh, my kids would love to see, would love to go to Asia and see uh, the East. And I would too. I've never, I've never been to the, to East Asia. I've been to the Middle East, but not East Asia. All right, so uh, the other thing that I wanted to make mention is when I was doing my journaling on the other card, I was writing and you know what? I wasn't done with my story. Now I could have wrapped it up, but I felt like I'm not really getting my story told the way that I wanna tell it. So I, I drew a little arrow and I flipped it over and then I continued writing. And I've done that before and Whenever I go back and I look at my albums and I see that arrow, I know that there's journaling behind um, behind the card. So I just pull the card out and flip it over and read the journaling. So I have no problems with keeping um, with writing more on the other side if um, if the story needs it. You know, if I need to do that. All right, so this is the last card, and you're actually not going to see me write the journaling because I did have to actually go. Um, go in and kind of search through my notes and look at, you know, what I was watching and what I was listening to and things like that. So 
I did end up writing that out and I actually ended up writing the January one while I was looking for the February one as well. So I'm standing back and I'm kind of looking at the layout, which is what I always do to make sure that I'm not missing anything or, you know, if I want to add or take things away or whatever. And I do, you can see that I do end up adding that heart and then I added up one more chipboard and then I am completely done. The one thing that you don't see is behind that ticket that is all on its own, I did end up adding a, a wintry photo behind there. So you, I think you'll see that with the photos though. Anyway, you guys, that is it. I am done with this layout. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know that time is totally precious, so I appreciate you spending this time with me. I really hope you enjoy your breathe kit, and if you would like to see more, definitely go to Allie Edwards' website. All right, you guys, we will catch you in the next video. Bye.